How prepared are you for the 2024 Joshua Generation International Youth Conference? And how prepared are the organizers? These and others we will be discussing this morning on the show. Good morning, our esteemed viewers, and welcome to today's edition of Now Streaming Program, reaching you from the capital city of Abuja. I am Smart Simon, your uncle, and with me in the studio today is the Right Reverend Aloysius Agbo, Bishop Anglican Diocese of Unsuka, and also the Uncle Bishop of the Joshua Generation International Youth Conference. Also with us is the Venerable Paul Wiskell. He is the Planning Committee Secretary of the Joshua Generation International Youth Conference. Our fathers in God, you're welcome to the studio. Thank you very much. Thank you for taking your time to come and spend this time in Abuja we for this very, very important conference. I appreciate the You're welcome, sir. Thank you. Thank you um, for those who might not have the idea of what Joshua Generation is all about, I want to start with this question. Tell us, sir, what is Joshua Generation International Youth Conference all about? Joshua Generation International Youth Conference is... Um, vision of our primate, the most reverend Dr. Henry Ndokoba, reaching out to the youths, bringing them, teaching them, equipping them, and releasing them to buy the seven mountains of influence. Mm. In other words, we want to reach out to the youths, bring them to the knowledge of the Lord, train them as strong Christians who will know whom they are in Christ and stand for Christ and wherever they go to walk in life they will be there representing the kingdom of God, living for God. The seven mountains of influence, the academic, the politics, business, uh, the, the communication, culture, marriage, um, religion, so these are the institutions that shape every society and people are there. And when wrong people are there, they will confuse the society. But when believers occupy these positions, occupy these mountains, they will stand in for Christ and they will propagate the gospel and shape the society. And that's what Jesus meant by your will be done on earth. As it is in heaven mm. so that's the vision of our primate all right thank you so much um we are aware that uh is starting on monday uh from 8 to 13th of april uh, so let me come to the secretary perhaps you will tell us how many have registered so far okay thank you uh, uh more than uh, more than twenty thousand persons have uh, registered to attend this conference, cutting across uh, some countries of Africa, and uh, not only Nigeria. That's why it is called a national conference. So more than 20,000 persons have registered. All right, thank you so much. So how will they be getting their tax and other materials uh, for the conference? All right. Uh, well, this is not the first time uh, we uh, we who we organizing the conference. We have uh, arrangements in place, and people, officials, and uh, personnel in place who collect these materials in groups. Mm. Uh, we don't expect that uh, the twenty thousand persons will come and uh, fall on the queue and wait, collect your own, check the computer. We have gone beyond that stage. So there are people, personnel, who have been uh, put on ground already and uh, they're collecting for zones and areas, zones and areas. And so the, is, they are divided into fractions like that. And the, the zones have also been informed as you come, this is where you go to collect your material. That's this other right. way, go this way. And there will be no stress at all. Every year, we are improving mm. on uh, the distribution of materials mm. to 
the conference members. All right, thank you so much. Now let me come to uh, the Uncle Bishop of Joshua Generation. Um, what should we be expecting this year differently from the previous ones that we have attended? Okay. The from the team, you can see there's a different approach. Mm. We have been looking at biblical themes that have been so helpful. But we we want this year to go back to the basis. Mm. One of the things that affects every young person, as a stage you come in life, you become confused. Exactly. What your parents told you may not help you that time. What you learned from Sunday school, you you may be confused with what you're experiencing. Because what your parents told you, what you learned from Sunday school, and possibly what you are hearing from colleagues now, and from classrooms, lecturers, and teachers, hmm. bring some people to confusion. And so we, we are looking at who are we in Christ? When we say we are Christians, what does that mean? What's the implication to my life? What does that say about my future? Mm. Has it any relevant to what I want to pursue? So this is the major different approach. Again, the, the resource persons, we, we don't just invite men of God. We, we invite people based on what God is communicating, was telling us he wants to communicate to his people and those whose lives are also messages. So, like other years, God has also blessed us with a cream of wonderful, wonderful resource persons. This year, we, we want to look at the issue of ICT and artificial intelligence, mm. specifically. And that's why some of the resource persons, for instance, the keynote speaker, Professor Victor Mbareka, is a, a young professor uh, in ICT. Uh, he became a professor under 40 years. Uh, thank God he's an African, he's from Cameroon, but he's, he's living in the US, where he, is a, uh, he has a university there. So he is the keynote speaker who will be speaking from his experience hmm. and challenging the youths on what to do with ICT positively. Yes. Uh, there are also other resource persons uh, that are coming to talk to us about artificial intelligence because uh, our intention is that after the conference, the post-conference activity, we focus on training up to 500 young people on ICT. That's what the primate has promised. But after the conference, we select about 500 young people who will be trained in ICT and artificial intelligence hmm. so that they will be empowered in that area just like he did for drama and just like he's doing now for music hmm. some people are currently uh, uh, training a music academy that's running this week they'll be part of the conference so the conference is not just coming to conference we have pre-conference activity we have the conference itself and post-conference program yes again Something unique that is happening in this one is that um, uh, there are people from other countries that are coming. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm sure uh, two persons are being sent by the Bishop of Cameroon. Mm. They are coming. Two persons are being sent by the Bishop of uh, one of the bishops in Ghana. Mm. They are coming. Uh, again, <laughs> about four people are coming from Uganda. Uh, other people, too, are coming from Rwanda. And uh, again, the General Secretary of Global Anglican Future Conference hmm. will be coming. He's being sent by the chairman of GAFCON. Yeah. So GAFCON is coming this year wow. to observe Joshua generation, generation. Because they have intention of doing the same thing, taking Joshua generation to become GAFCON program. Oh. This is the unique thing that will be happening this year. Mm. 
Thank you so much, my Lord. And uh, the attention given to young people, uh, the Nigerian population is majorly of the young people. Yeah. Uh, we may be wrong to say 70% of the population yeah. are, are basically young people. Yeah. And um, for our Father in God and the church to give attention to the young people is uh, uh, highly, highly commendable. And I hope that young people will take advantage of this conference and not just come around and then uh, move up and down, find something to eat and not listen. Uh, please, when you are in the conference, ensure that you pay attention and then listen to all that will be said and ensure that you get yourself ready for the future. Now, let me come to the Secretary of the Planning Committee. Uh, so, what are the plans for mobility and accommodation within the city of Abuja? Because hosting 20,000 young people is not uh, a child's play at all. Uh, so, beside uh, mobility and accommodation, are there people who will be uh, monitoring the, these accommodations like uh, ho uh, 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 hostel masters or what they call porter in the university to be able to uh, make sure that uh, they are properly guided. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, yes, uh, accommodation and uh, transportation. Mm. So I take on uh, accommodation first. Uh, very good arrangement has uh, been put in place to accommodate uh, the number I mentioned earlier, more than 20,000 persons, you know. Uh, first is to know that uh, this is not year one of the conference. Mm. Uh, it's a thing we have done for more than two years. This is the fourth, this is fourth one. edition. And uh, another thing you, we should also take note of is, uh, I, I mentioned over 20,000, but where we're actually coming from, uh, we had even larger number exactly. than uh, the one we are registering mm. this year. Mm. Reason of average, it is the Nigeria economic situation mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, that has informed a kind of a drop, a little mm. drop mm. on the registration. The economy of Nigeria is actually very challenging. Hot. Before now, uh, petrol was cheaper than what uh, of course so that is an aspect of uh, petrol i mean transportation mm -hmm. which can also speed to accommodation exactly. because you won't keep people in the dark when they come we discussed earlier issue of power supply you don't rely on nepa so if you must run the gen <laughs> you need to spend money and the people who will come from various uh, dioceses and non-anglicans who will come and attend the conference, uh, the cost has gone higher in order to be able to get to the conference. i just like to establish that fact first. Mm. first. The accommodation within the Abuja metropolis, uh, places have been well arranged, especially facilities belonging to the Anglican Church. Uh, our Anglican Church, by the grace of God, we, we are blessed and we believe in God for more blessing. Mm. We have some facilities uh, that can be used for this. We have uh, we have explored this. We have met uh, our fathers in God in charge of these facilities, and they have generously given them out to accommodate these young ones who are coming, and not just to throw them in there. Uh, the toilet and facilities to ease themselves, having their bath, mattresses, all of these have been properly arranged for taking care of. And then, like you mentioned, we are also very conscious of security, the security of those attending. Mm. So there are hostel officials who, who monitor going out and coming in. There is a time that all of them should leave and board the buses, taking them to the conference venue. There's also a time of closing and uh, these officers also ensure will ensure that everyone is inside the same bus with which they come to, came to the conference and taken back to their uh, various accommodation places. And uh, nobody is allowed to just gallivant, you know, just jump away in the city of Abuja uh, for sightseeing and all of that. Exactly. Just jump here and there. We and we are very much aware of such things. These are youths. 
and uh, we have made arrangements mm -hmm. to actually secure them, take them to where they should be at the right time. Then uh, they will happily go back to their parents at the end of the conference and the parents too will be happy that impact had been made mm. on their children. <laughs> Number two is transportation. Though I caught into it a yes. little of it. Uh, transportation arrangement is uh, now the Abuja Abuja uh, brethren, the LOC, uh, local organizing committee, that is people who are immediately hosting us. Mm. They have done so much arrangement. Like I said, it's not the first year. They have uh, all the churches, they have re released their buses. Their vehicles have been released free of charge to take these children to conference ground and take them back to their accommodation. We also, also uh, have been making use of even the vehicles that we take some of the conference people to Abuja. We also speak to their bishops to the organizers and the drivers. Mm. We make use of these buses too. They are not just, they don't just come to Abuja and pack them, not being used for seven or seven days. They are also being used to ensure that nobody is uh, uh, struggling and uh, trekking on the road. I miss my bus, I can't find my way. That will not happen at all. Mm. Arrangements are in place. All right. Thank you. Thank to, you so much. To add to that, uh, we have uh, 20 teams that is uh, planning this conference. So when we say about planning team, we have 20 different teams. We have a team on accommodation. And within the accommodation, they have different units. Mm. The unit that is in charge of hotel accommodation for resource persons and clergymen, the unit that is in charge of hostels, for youth, the participants. <laughs> so, the, as uh, the secretary said, we've secured the church facilities. But beyond that, we've also gone to the schools in Abuja here. And thank God the authorities have been working well with us. They've released all the schools within Abuja metropolis. And the bus is also the transportation we are not only depending on our buses because this is too small for to moving 20,000 people. Of course. So we, we've gone to get companies, transport companies. We've engaged them. We've used them before. We have coastal buses. We have luxurious buses that we use to move people to and fro. Mm -hmm. And the wonderful thing there is that the, the agreement is they come in, they are there in the morning. They pick these youths come to the conference, they park within the conference, they're not going anywhere till evening when we close. Then they, so that we, have, we won't have challenge of we are waiting for the bus to come from outside or that they have problem outside. So this is the arrangement mm. we've made for transportation and then. Wow. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much. And um, viewers, we will encourage you and especially our youth, we encourage you to please call in we have uh, the Anko Bishop and the Planning Committee Secretary here. For any uh, question, any challenge, you can call in and uh, they will attend to you. Uh, so uh, let me quickly uh, come back to the Anko Bishop. Um, like you said, this is not the first edition. Uh, this has been going on. This is the fourth. Uh, what has been the, the, the aftermath of uh, the Joshua Generation International Youth Conference. What are the things that has been done so far? And to be able to educate the public that from the last year Joshua Generation, these are some of the things we have set up. Uh, haven't uh, uh, trained them, haven't uh, bring them to conference that they have learned. These are some of the things that we are doing to engage them, to keep them busy so that they won't just come for conference mm. and then go back and not be doing anything thank any longer. You. Thank you very much. The uniqueness of this conference, because uh, if you look at the structure, it is completely different from what we are used to. That's why before now, we've organized what we call pre-conference training. Mm. And this year, it was organized in the 14 provinces of Church of Nigeria, around the provinces. 
what we did there is to prepare workers, especially those we call group mentors. Group mentors are those who will lead in Bible study, in the way we understand it. Because within the conference, the four days of the conference, in small, small groups, the target is to make a group just 15 persons. And within this 15 persons, the group mentor is the Bible study leader. Mm. He's not just there to lead in the Bible study. They meet throughout the conference. They bond, they connect, they socialize. And from there, they have formed a family. So after the conference, they're expected to continue to relate. Hmm. And what, how are they relating? They, they are giving books that they will read. Our target is four books. We release these books online. They read it. They discuss it. They share their challenges. They pray for one another. They encourage one another. So what we do is that after the conference, each participant has a small group that we'll be discussing with. We'll be having a challenge with this. We've not gotten it as we designed. Mm. But we've started because some people, because they're not used to it, after the conference, they will communicate again. They will connect and all those things. Yeah. But this is the way the conference is designed and this is the way we are going. Beyond this, after the conference, each year, the primate will choose an area of empowerment that he focuses on and we will choose people who are interested in that area or called in that area, train them and release them. Mm. So, you know, 70,000 people. Mm. Now. Thank you so much, my Lord Bishop, for uh, that. Uh, so let me come back to Venerable Whiskell. Um, so what is your plan or the, the plan of the planning committee for the people, uh, persons with disability? Uh, because they will come. Some may have sight problems. Some is their movement and all that any arrangement so that when they come they will not be at disadvantage in the conference uh, yes for for every good society nobody will want to underrate anybody who has a challenge because you never can tell where it came from and god is the owner of every soul mm. for us in joshua generation every soul is important mm whether you are able to see well or you don't hear well you can't see well you can't walk well we know you are a soul and you are very important to us so as we plan for strong and able boys and girls we also have arrangement for them those who will come on which year there is there are personnel who help them to ensure that they are led to where they should be seated so the issue or the challenge of I, I, I want, I, I, I have the mind to get to where I could see people, see minister, uh, the one who is ministry and I'm not able to get there, does not arise at all. Mm. So we have men in place. Like my Lord Bishop said, teams, 20 teams have been saddled with one responsibility or the other. And uh, we call them team because even, even when team one is working, there it, it has a spill to team five. Five could spill to team 15. So it's all networking and uh, connect, connectivity. So if one is not there, the other person will be there. For the disabled, for the physically challenged people, uh, perfect arrangements uh, is uh, being made and have been made already. Now to add to that, uh, for instance, those who cannot uh, uh, hear well, there is the sign language uh, experts, experts, experts mm. that are deployed and been given why the messages are going on they are giving the sign language so that even though you come here You're you will following. get the message mm. so they are all taken care of whether whatever part of the as long as you carry a soul you are important to us mm. all right Thank you. in addition uh, in the registration form 
uh, you, you, there's a space. There. Indication, yes. You have a challenge. So once you indicate you have a challenge, we are taking note of mm. that. Mm. And the arrangement starts from there. Oh, okay. So we can tell you that this number of deaf people are coming. This number of lame people are coming from the registration. All right. Thank you so much. Now, uh, my Lord Bishop, by way of emphasis, tell us the date, the venue, and I'll prepare you uh, for the conference. And you will tell us when is the registration closing as, as your last word. Okay. Uh, if you're adding anything, <laughs> you can add that. But that is going to be your last word Thank for the program. You. Thank you. Very Thank much. you, sir. Thank you. The Joshua Generation International Youth Conference 2024 with the team, My Identity. And we will be considering Colossians chapter 2, almost the whole chapter. But we'll be focusing from verse 8 to verse 23. And it will start on Monday, 8th of April, and end on Saturday, 13th of April. And we are sorry for the shift of date. It used to be Easter Monday. From Easter Monday, whole of that week to Saturday. But there's a national program at that stadium that made us to move that date. So we apologize for that change of date. Mm. And so it will start on 8th. That is the coming Monday and end on Saturday. Monday is arrival and we will depart on Saturday because the program takes us to Friday night when the primate will give his charge and commissioning message. So that's the starting date. And the resource persons, we thank God, all our resource persons, they're all prepared and most of them arriving on Sunday. Most of our international speakers arriving on Sunday before the, before the participants. Mm. And some of the participants who may not come on Monday because of any reason can also come on Sunday. We're already here in Abuja. Our teams are ready to receive people as they arrive in. Just go to the stadium. you see people who will receive you and locate you to your hostel and give you your, your registration material. Mm. So this, we are prepared for them. The kitchen units are already in Abuja, ready, getting ready for the food. We are adopting another method this year. We want to see this use as kings. So we want to serve them in a way that will be more honorable. Mm. So it won't be like the other year. We are not going to use disposable to serve them. We are going to use real plates. Mama Primate said these people should be honored as kings. Mm. And this is something different, unique this year. Gonafu plates have been bought by Mama Nigeria. <laughs> and they will be this this will be serve them and these youths are wonderful we, we don't have extra people who will work they are the same people that we serve they'll bring the plates they will wash it themselves so we want to see youths participating and serving we want to train them being humble mm. so we are ready thank you so much my lord bishop uh, and uh uh, venerable sir yes thank you thank you you said uh, the last word on this program yes uh, yes okay. you who, the the registration like i said we already have uh, more than twenty thousand specifically twenty thousand seven hundred and sixteen three days back mm. three or four days back mm. twenty thousand seven hundred and sixteen persons have registered so between that three days and uh, the closing date is today friday okay today friday is actually mm. the closing day the primate uh, asked us to reopen the portal because at the point we needed to close the portal for a better preparation arrangement so that we can make provision for as many as are coming but uh, his grace the primate asked for he gave his blessing for uh, elongating the day but it must close this today friday by is it 11? Uh, 59.59 59. <laughs> <laughs> PM. <laughs> so it must close. So between yeah. then and uh, by that hour we're talking about, uh, we are believing God that uh, not less than 21,000 persons will be available for this conference. Uh, by way of closing, everyone is here, all of our youths, you are all invited. So you have some hours to get registered so that you can participate mm. in this conference identity 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 <laughs> there are two people who will want to identify you 
two powers, heaven's identity and hell identity, God and the devil. They know everyone. You don't need to speak. When they look at you, they know where you belong. <laughs> oh. Praise the Lord. Thank, Thank you, you so I, much. I, I just want to add because uh, these are teams are wonderful people. This registration, I can tell you how many people that have registered in each diocese. Mm. So, but because time will not allow us, as that two days ago, from Aba province, 1,373. From Abuja province, 5,259. From Bende province, 1,624. From Enugu province, we have 1,536. From Ibadan province, we have 300. From Jos province, we have 903. From Kaduna province, we have 1,579. From Kwara province, we have 288. From uh, Lagos province, we have 815. From Lokoja province, we have 620. From Niger Delta province, we have 1,079. From Ondo province, we have um, 636. From um, on the Niger, we have 1,431. Mm. And then others who are not, Angry. no, sorry, before then, Owere province, we have uh, 1,316. Others who are not Anglicans, we have um, we have um, um, one thousand one hundred and twenty-four. Wow! Who are not Anglicans? And we now have a total of twenty-one thousand registered mm. already. Mm. We know the mm. number of females. We know the number of males. Wow! Have registered. So wow. we are we are ready to receive them. My Lord, I can see that <laughs> indeed you are ready for the conference. <laughs> Thank you so much, uh, the Right Reverend Aloysio Sago, uh, the Uncle Bishop of Joshua Generation International Youth Conference. Thank you so much you. for your sacrifice you. and uh, making yourself available. You. And uh, the Planning Committee Secretary, Venerable Paul Whisker. Thank, Thank you so much, you. sir, for your time here. And this is where we draw the curtain. And don't forget that uh, the Joshua generation is starting on Monday. Please don't miss out. There is so much you're, you stand to gain from this conference, spiritually and otherwise. Mm -hmm. I remain Sma Simon, your, your uncle for today. And we say goodbye. Um, see you on Monday.